Hi, my name is Ed Cooney. I'm the Executive Chef at the Marion Hotel here in Dublin. Um, I'm just going to make some champ mashed potatoes. Three basic ingredients. We have uh, potatoes, obviously, uh, Glen Ellen Irish Country Butter, and some spring onions. One of, obviously, one of the very important parts of, of making champ mashed potatoes is the actual potatoes. I'm using rooster potatoes. For this time of year, they're particularly good. So you can see it's, uh, you know, the flesh in the potato is nice and, nice and floury, nice and dry. So this is what we look for when we're trying to make some nice champ mash. What I've done with these potatoes is that they've been baked in the oven. Now you will see a lot of recipes that boil the potatoes or steam the potatoes. I've baked these um, and I've baked them for about 30 minutes to 40, 30 to 40 minutes in a, in a, in a hot oven. Um, the reason for this is that I personally think it actually dries the potato nicely. So you end up with a nice fluffy interior. So what we're going to do is we're going to scoop out the flesh onto a drum sieve and leave the skins. So now you can see that the potato is piping hot. When the skins are left, which are absolutely gorgeous by the way, um, you can use the skins, you can fill them with something or you can just eat them as they are. Personally, I like them as they are. They're lovely and crispy, but please don't waste them. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape these potatoes through the sieve using a plastic scraper. Now, so what's happening here is that we're, we're, we're pushing the potato through the sieve into the bowl below. While doing that, we're also aerating the potatoes. So they're getting nice and light and fluffy. We're taking all the bits so there's no, um, no lumps. Now, the next stage is where our butter comes in. So we've got a nice pan. I've already melted some of the Glen Ellen country, Irish country butter in there. So I'm putting that on a gentle heat, melted, and then I'm adding some uh, spring onions, or scallions, as they're known as as well, to here. These ones I've already chopped, so these are them in their natural form. And what I want to do here is I just want to sweat the potatoes in the butter very, very gently until they're just, just limp. I don't, want a, I don't want an aggressive heat, I need a gentle heat here. So it's something, you just have to stand over it, just, just be very gentle with the onions. Uh, I, want them to, um, I want them to wilt, but I don't want them to colour. And what we're doing with that process as well then is that the flavour from the onions is being extracted and it's going into the butter, which helps for a more even distribution of the flavour through the potato. Okay, back to the potatoes. So. Lift up our sieve and we'll scrape the potato into our little container here. Now, so you can see the potatoes here, nice and fluffy and floury. And we're going to add them here to our onions. So now we just mix them through. Okay, so we've got our potatoes here, looking good, nice and smooth, you've got the lovely green colour, so it's retained its colour, it's got the flavour in there. We're just going to finish with a little drizzle of cream, small drizzle, mix that through, little seasoning, salt and pepper. So now we can just serve this in our bowl. And finish with a little slice of the um, Glen Ellen butter and just let it melt in. Beautiful. Thank you very much.